Hey guys, this is Brian with Obedia, and here is your digital audio music news for the week ending August 26th, 2011. So of course, the first biggie that's rocking the computing world this week and uh, definitely making a lot of waves, and of course, we're going to see some of those waves in the digital audio world, is the announcement of Steve Jobs resigning from Apple. Jobs has been on medical leave for a while now, and uh, he's decided to resign. He will stay with Apple as chairman. However, he is not going to be the head of Apple anymore. Uh, we'll see how this affects the world of digital music making. Of course, Apple has stepped up to be a major player in the world of digital audio in the past years and made some great strides with their software. Uh, if anything stands to reason with the way that they've been working for so long now, I think everything's going to be just fine. Apple has great development teams on all of their software, and I don't think any of us really need to worry. So, of course, we wish Jobs the best as he moves on, and we wish Apple the best as they continue to make great hardware and software. Another big piece of news coming down the pipe and could definitely affect us here in the digital audio world is Hewlett Packard's announcement that they're going to be leaving the mobile and tablet computing business and that they may end up spinning off or selling their PC computer business. This is pretty big news considering that HP has been one of the primary players in the world of PC manufacturing for so many years and of course had recently made the move into mobile computing with tablets and other devices. Uh, so it's, it stands to be seen, of course, how this is going to affect those of us in the digital music making world. If you make your music on a PC and you use an HP PC, uh, you may see some changes, of course, but that news is still sort of forthcoming. All we know right now is that HP is going to be leaving the, the mobile computing business and we'll find out soon, hopefully, what they plan to do with their PC business. In the world of software, we've got an update coming from Cocos for Reaper. This brings Reaper up to version 4.02, brings in some added support for Jog and Shuttle devices, as well as some other fixes. If you're a Reaper user, you'll want to install this. Reaper is an awesome, very low cost, easy to use digital audio workstation. Uh, I personally enjoy it for sound design. Very robust, has a ton of tools, and especially for the price, you can't beat Reaper. If you're using Reaper and having fun with it, let me know what you do with it. Show me some of your productions. I'd love to see what you guys are doing. And our final piece of news this week, Cycling74 has updated Max to version 5.19. This brings in some bug fixes and some new features. Max is an awesome way to essentially create your own instruments, sounds, and many other awesome tools for music making. If you guys are using Max, let me know what you're doing with it. Uh, and I'd love to hear your productions or see some of your work. Max is an awesome way to get into the very deep world of music programming. So let me know what you guys are doing with it and uh, let's talk. These are just some of the news headlines in the digital audio world for the week ending August 26, 2011. We'll be bringing you these updates weekly and I hope that you guys find them useful. If you have anything you'd like to talk to me about, questions or anything that you'd like to comment on, please get in touch with me here on my video or of course by email at brian at obedia.com on twitter at twitter.com forward slash obedia tutor and of course on facebook at facebook.com forward slash obedia tutor as always thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys next week